Thank you, Chairman Wenstrup. Today is long overdue. And just as a reminder for the public tuning in, we are here today on behalf of the over 15,000 vulnerable seniors in nursing homes who died because of Governor Cuomo's fatal executive order on March 25th, damning them to this horrible fate, including constituents in my district and every congressional district in New York State. I also want to recognize the families and advocates who have been working tirelessly on behalf of their loved ones amidst this grief, who have been smeared, attacked, and denigrated by Governor Cuomo and his most senior aides. Let me begin first. After months of inquiry and investigation, we now know irrefutably what New Yorkers have known for years, that Governor Cuomo himself and his most senior aides ordered directed and executed this deadly executive order counter to CMS and CDC guidance. Our investigation also reveals, a bipartisan investigation, that the disgraced former governor and his top aides were caught covering up their culpability and guilt to selfishly save their shredded reputations. I want to start with the March 25th directive. Isn't it correct, former governor, that Dr. Zucker served as your commissioner of health during the COVID crisis. Yes. And you have stated and shared that you have great respect for Dr. Zucker's work and professionalism. You have said that in the past. Is that correct? I don't know if I've used those words, but I'll take your word for it. Do you have respect for Dr. Zucker and his professionalism? Yeah. Are you aware that Dr. Zucker testified that the March directive was prompted by a direct request to you, former Governor Cuomo, from the Greater New York Hospital Association. Are you aware of that fact? I'm not aware of his testimony, no. Well, that was what he testified to this committee. Dr. Zucker also went on to say, quote, Greater New York Hospital Association called the governor and the team. We were all there in a conversation, end quote. I also want to add, are you aware that another staffer at the Department of Health testified that the March 25th order did receive sign-off from the executive chamber? Are you aware of that fact? Uh, no, I'm aware of the testimony to the exact opposite that you received. Uh, that, that is incorrect. He said, yes, absolutely. That's not the testimony that I have before me. The testimony Mr. I have Hutton, before me when he was asked whether the March 25th order was signed off by the executive chamber, the answer was yes, absolutely. And on top of that, Dr. Zucker testified that, quote, everything goes to the governor's office. And by the way, Governor, you and I both know that under your terrible leadership in New York, everything does go through the governor's office. My follow-up is it wasn't just the directive itself, Governor, it was the cover-up. Yeah. This investigation found that you, former governor, and your most senior aides made a deliberate decision to exclude certain COVID-19 related nursing home deaths to hide and undercount the actual mortality rate in nursing homes. And for the public, Governor Cuomo changed the methodology of counting nursing home fatalities to exclude out of facility deaths, to undercount those. I wanna ask you, what period of time were you negotiating for your book deal? Congresswoman, if there was a fact in what you said... No, I'm asking you a question. I I'm asking you a question. What dates well, did you negotiate for your book deal? That is the question I'm, before I'm you today. I'm answering a question that No, no, you no. Asked. The question that I My asked... My testimony says, during no. that time, did you have any discussions with the executive chamber regarding the need for guidance? That's not the testimony not I'm referring to. Not that I recall. To. Absolutely not was the answer. I Governor... Absolutely. You're throwing your staff under also, the bus. You are culpable for this. My question to you is, when were you negotiating also, for your multi-million dollar advance deal for your book as seniors were dying in nursing homes? Also, that is the question in front of you. You can't make up facts, Congresswoman. You're the one making up facts. I'm, you're the one who undercounted nursing home general, deaths. You're the one who I want to ask right now. You apologize today, opposite. but there are families sitting here. I want you to turn around, look them in the eye, and apologize, which this you have failed to do. Uh, uh, Will you do it? This is not about political theater. It's no, about this is giving about answers. accountability. Why did 1.2 million Americans die? Why did more Why Americans are die you? than any no, country no, 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 on no. the globe? You're the former governor Why who's disgraced under oath. 
no. lie to this the people of the United States. This executive order was under States. your name. It was counter to CDC Why and did you CMS. Let President Trump lie. This is about those seniors, Governor. You were they deserve for Vice to hear from you in the eye that you apologize, that you were negotiating for a multi-million dollar book deal. It is a disgrace. There is a reason why you were the former governor of New York State, and you will never hold elected office again. I yield back. I now recognize Ms. Dingle.